This Revit file contains walls, rooms, and three RVT links. One containing furniture, one containing lighting fixtures, and one containing mechanical equipment. Because these family instances are in linked files, Revit is unable to report their room name and room number values the same way it can if we place components in our host file as shown here. However, we can use the Revit API to get the desired data and schedule the rooms for each one of these components in the RVT links. We will do this not with the room name and room number fields provided by Revit, but instead with shared parameters that will store the desired data. So, as we can see, our multi-category schedule has been updated with the correct information for every family instance. We can now see here by tab selecting to one of these elements in the link that its room name and number is now known. If we come to the floor plan where we can change the information about the rooms. We can then run the API command again to update the data for each linked family instance. And as you see, the new room numbers have now been used to update the data for each one of these instances.